everyone, welcome back. As you can see, I've made a few changes to our house. I've put some new wallpaper and floors up. I've organized or reorganized the rooms because they were all weird. And then I, I bought them an easel and Robin has her own charging station. And I also got them the elevators, which are convenient. And they're also very, very small. They take up only two spaces. And for the big change, which is the kitchen, I think this was separated into three different sections. So I just merged them and they now have a food synthesizer and a table with chairs that they can sit on and eat because they haven't had that before at this house. So Evan, once you're done, I was going to have him read the bot building book, but I'm not going to anymore. I'm going to have him improve the meal quality to level one. And then we will program new recipe, Fruity Bobs, which is from getting advanced technology level one or two or something. And and we can now do synthesized Spear of Destiny. Ah. He's improved his advanced technology skill to level 3. Evan Anders' knowledge of advanced technology has granted him the few tech sprite for the hollow disc. Program Spear of Destiny recipe on the food synthesizer. Oh, there you go. And additional dream pod dreams. So I did build them a house. And I just wanted to make this look nice while we were playing in here. Because I don't know how much money she's going to win at the lottery. Which I will have her do right now. So we just go to Glass groceries and we go buy winning lotto ticket for 10 simoleons I'll have her buy a few because why not I mean who knows maybe we'll win, we'll win more than once maybe we'll only win like 10,000 <laughs> but um the house I built them is unfurnished I just put wallpaper and flooring and stuff and got the the basic foundation of it the, the shape and, and stuff and I will be moving all of their furniture into there so that's why I kept it empty and I'll probably buy them some more stuff depending on how much money they get but I don't want to plan too much because I just I don't know Hadley go win some a, a good amount of money so that we could buy it the house is only worth 25,000 unfurnished I believe so we don't need too much money because once we sell this I think this place is worth like 10,000 or 15 I can't remember. Also, once we move there, I'm going to buy them those grass carpets you can put everywhere. And she's going to plant the crystal flowers. And that's going to be fun. And Dane, I'm trying to have him talk to Robin because he's always mean to her. And I'm trying to get them to become friendlier with each other. And see, their, their relationship status is terrible. They're, they're slowly becoming enemies. <laughs> also... He has a moonlit called Feeling Out of Sorts. Encounters with other dimensions have turned Dane slightly loopy. Take a moment to take a deep breath or find a hospital. So we could go to the hospital and I think it's, yeah, it's over here. We can be admitted for instability, but I don't want to do that. This won't be the first time this is going to happen, so I figure why not just let him take deep breaths. You just click on him or whoever it is and then have them take deep breaths. It's because he's unstable, which is the new uh, trait that came with Into the Future. What are you doing, Dane? I don't know. <laughs> They're chatting. Okay, go. So he just breathes into a big paper bag. It's like when, when people have anxiety or what happened to his arm or are car sick and oh, he feels better. A nice deep breath. Oh, and he's cross-eyed. Oh my gosh. And then he just got evil. <laughs> I will be definitely buying them dream pods too once we move into the new home. Let's see. So Dane, how about we trigger the future, this, this dystopian event. So a few of you have told me that if I do this, then there is a chance that we'll get a meteor shower no matter which future we have. So just in case that happens, just know that I am prepared. I keep multiple saves of the, the same save, if that makes sense. So I will have a backup just in case it gets like totally glitched out. So dystopian future after decades of selfish and irresponsible decisions sims strained oasis landing to the limit and beyond trash heaps block the sidewalks meteors pulverize the landscape and dangerous rifts have formed beckoning adventurers to climb inside to find their adventure so let's trigger it i didn't even click it <laughs> but we're doing it now all right so um yeah, a minor indulgence. You want to change the future for worse? Let's start by causing some destruction and mayhem. This old magnet I have should do the trick by attracting meteors to town. Take this meteor magnet and point it towards the sky to attract some meteors. It's bound to garner some attention. So we got to use it three times outside. Oh, and we're going to get advanced technology from this. Sweet. All right, so he's going to attract space objects. Three. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Emmett Relevart, you here, buddy? Hello. I haven't seen you in quite some time. Actually, I think I saw you yesterday. You were trying to sleep in the same bed with Hadley, or maybe that was before. 
I can't remember, <laughs> but that's probably the last time I saw him. Maybe. So let's see. Hadley, uh, are you almost done? Kinda? Well, she has the insider tips from when we went to go and check the old lotto records from Oasis Landing, the city hall in Oasis Landing. So we should be winning something good. I want to win uh, at least enough money. I want to win like 20,000 simoleons so I could buy the house. That would make me very happy. So let's have you go and attract... Why didn't you attract anything? Attract space object. Yeah. Oh, maybe he has to be in a in a very empty space with nothing around so he could do it. Oh, it looks like it. Okay. Congratulations, you have programmed uh, the food synthesizer to make a new recipe, Fruity Bobs. Heck yeah. Oh, I didn't know it made, like, these red rings. That's crazy. Is he going to attract anything? Look at how huge this thing is, though. Seriously. Look at how excited he is. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. He's, like, having an evil laugh. <laughs> Are you going to get anything? I hope. Oh. Oh, my gosh. It actually gets stuck to it. It actually got stuck to it. I didn't know that. Well, we got a tung tungsten carbide. Let's do this two more times. And then we should be fulfilling that thing, the opportunity. Um, I can't remember how much you have to do, but I'm going to have him grab a plate after this because he's kind of hungry. Also, did you improve meal quality? Yes, thank you. And Hadley, are you almost done? You could come home when you're done. She's spending so much money. I'll just have her do it one more time, just to be safe. <laughs> and hello, Emmett. What are you doing? Are you like looking at our trash can? He's like, what is this old device? out here just sitting next to these stairs. He has no idea because <laughs> he's from the future and everything is all futuristic. No, they have trash cans there. <laughs> you have programmed the food synthesizer to make Spear of Destiny. Woo -woo. They look really cool actually. I, I don't know what Fruity Bobs look like. Is that... I, I don't even know. Quick Meal? Is that what a Quick Meal is? It sounds like it would be a Quick Meal kind of. Dessert, we can make the Sphere of Destiny, which is nice. Lunch, I don't see Fruity Bobs anywhere, so that might be, um, that might be breakfast or dinner, possibly. We have so many food options, it is insane. Don't even need the cooking skill for that one, <laughs> which is great. Okay, what? The League of Concerned Doomsayers. That worked better than I thought. Not only did we change the Earth's gravitational pull to attract meteors, but a group called the League of Concerned Doomsayers sprung up. It looks like you're on the right track to change the future. Go to their meeting and see how serious they are. we got to attend the meeting. Go to the meeting right now, after you eat. <laughs> Isn't the meteor magnet grand? I love using it to light up the night sky. Oh, and he also got advanced technology at level 3. Sweet. Okay, so Hadley, how much money are you going to win us? I hope it's not a lot. I hope it's a lot. <laughs> Enough to, to buy the house and buy, you know, dream pods and stuff for everyone. I don't know how much you could win, though. So, I hope it's not too much, though, because, I mean, I, I do still like struggling with money. I could just waste it on a car. <gasps> if we get a ridiculous amount of money, I'm buying a car if we have enough left over. Because the cars in Into the Future are really cool. Oh, I also want to feed our, our sprite. I'll have him do that right now. Let's feed our cute little sprite, clean Arin, and then we're going to feed Arin the quantum nanite. I believe that one is the cheapest nanite that we have. Okay, you can stop talking to him. Stop it. Aw, <laughs> uh, hi, Arin. You're adorable. It's like a holographic Tamagotchi. <laughs> so cute. Evan, feed him. Oh, yay! <laughs> so, ah, they're just so cute. I don't know. I love those things, little sprites. Hadley, when are you going to want us some money? How long does this take? I'm just impatient, you know? I, I, I want to I wanna win it. <laughs> uh, it was probably like, well, I don't think it was a waste of money to change this stuff around here because it, it would have been a bad eyesore this whole time playing at this house. You know what I mean? So... I, I kind of like how it came out, though. The house is similar to this, like the, the colors and stuff, but I don't know. I hope you guys like it. I'll show you in the next video. So, Dane, are you almost done attending the Doomsayers meeting? Oh, man. Where is this at, anyway? Oh, someone's talking. <laughs> you hear him? <laughs> That's cool. So, we... I don't know where this is. Is this City Hall? I think this is City Hall. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? 
Okay. City Hall is the small one in uh, Lunar Lakes. The big building is the science facility. And this place is called, I don't know what it's called. Let's see. Go up into map view. The Perigee. I hope I'm saying that right. It's just like a big old spaceship, it looks like. And uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, it makes sense because this place is, is pretty futuristic. And it kind of looks like some sort of Dr. Seuss town a little <laughs> with all the trees and stuff. I don't know. That's what it makes me think of. Hadley, when are you going to win the lottery? You're driving me crazy here. And how about you clean this up too? Use the Almanac of Time to help you find your descendants once you arrive in Oasis Landing. Oh, yeah. Or you could just check, you know, map view. <laughs> Great woolly llamas! They really think the world is going to end. This is better than expected. I'm not sure there were enough people at the meeting to really start a movement. Go around town and spread the word that the sky is falling. Let everyone, uh, let's get everyone thinking the end is near. And this one is called Fire in the Skies. Convince six sims that the sky is falling and advanced technology again. Gosh, Dan better have like advanced technology level what now? Three? Four. Four. He'll get level four. Oh, we also get to moodlet. Believes the sky is falling. Prophecies of the apocalypse have convinced Dane that the end is nigh. He's freaking out to the opportuni appropriate degree. <laughs> it's because opportunity was like right under that word and I mixed them. <laughs> so let's see. Uh, what else do we want to do while we wait for Hadley to win some money? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, thanks for attending the League of Concern Concerned Doomsayers meeting. I hope they had free coffee and donuts at least. We, but you would know if you were if you were there. Who who's thanking you? The the person who, you know, brought it all together. Because then they would know if there were coffee. You know what I mean? I don't know. What's happening? What is this? <laughs> Successfully convince who dis deactivated it. What's going on? Okay, um, convince six. Sims that the sky is falling. I will do that. Robin, did you deactivate it? What's wrong with you? And then we'll also convince Hadley, and then we'll convince Evan. Hello, Evan. Convince the sky is falling. Let's do that. Okay, go. After you activate it. Yeah. Is the guy gonna come out? Because he should. Uh, oh, there's somebody over there. Let's see if we can... Chris Landgrab. Landgrab. That name is everywhere. That's like Sim favorite, isn't it? <laughs> Sims 3 favorite. Okay, so Hadley, can you please stop reading and, and maybe win some money? You know, I'm gonna have her paint. I mean, might as well. I don't. Nobody is um, an artist, and and I kind of I really like how it looks when they paint. So I'm gonna have her paint a medium picture. It's see through, and the paintings are actually see through themselves, and it's cool because they have this effect where you like. I don't know if you've tried this, but you you try to record your computer or TV screen, and it gets the lines that move up. You'll see. You'll see what I mean right now. <laughs> Is it working? Yeah, see? There we go. Oh, wait. Look at her palette. Oh, my gosh. I've never... I didn't see that before. So cool. It's like one of those uh, Wacom tablets. And what do you want to do? Listen about the sky falling. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. You have to do that. I forgot. Did we tell Robin? I No, I don't think so. How come we didn't tell Robin? Well, I'm going to convince Evan that the sky is falling, and he's going to believe it. Maybe not. <laughs> Wait, Robin, you're being loud. Why are you siphoning power when you could just go in there and sleep? <laughs> Recharge. Dude, the sky. Oh, he doesn't believe. But it's happening. Oh, it still counts, though. That's good. All right, fine. Well, I'm going to see if we can find somebody else. I don't even know where to look. Some of these people just are scattered around town. Some of them are probably in their houses. Oh, there's somebody right here. Convince Carly that the sky is falling. Hi, Carly. I'm going to convince you, and you're going to believe me. And I don't... Are you a teen? kind of look like a teen. Sorry if I'm bothering you. I'm going to keep an eye on Hadley because she's going to win this money. Ah, we won! <gasps> We won 55,000 simoleons. Great Wooly Llamas, Evan Anders, a fluctuation in space-time continuum may have affected your descendants. Go into the future and see what changes may have occurred. It's because we got money. That's why. That's good. Dane Dodson, same thing. Congratulations. Hadley Dodson just won 50... Oh, how cute. 55,000 from the lotto. It has been deposited directly into her account. This stupid thing is in the way. I'm going to move it so we can see what she does. We got a big old check. Look at this thing. Look at this huge check. That's insane. Okay. Hi. 
everyone check me out we just won the lottery oh dance <laughs> cool now we could buy the house we have more than enough to buy the house i could buy them dream pods probably not a car but you know let's go over here hadley and then i'll put this back <laughs> okay dane are you telling people that the sky is falling that would be great and i don't know why my my game just like freaks out when when it does that Okay, go tell this lady, this little lady over here. The sky's falling. Hopefully, oh, there's another person over here. Okay, we're going to tell you too. What is your name? Trenton Alto. Hello. No, you don't want to talk to me? Fine. How about Bethany Sue? I'll give it another shot with this, this chick too. And you. Oh, no, I didn't mean to call you over. Okay, go. <laughs> oh, no, the sky. Do you see it? Do you see it? It's falling. They believe. He believes. <laughs> Two out of six people. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, we're going to convince you too, Bethany Sue. That rhymed. That totally rhymed. All right, go. No, the sky's falling. Three, four. He doesn't believe it, but it, it's happening. The sky's falling. Convince Amar Am Amira. Grace, the sky's falling. Convince her, please. Aw, oh, it's not letting me convince her. Okay, well, she must be like stuck somewhere. Oh, I see you. Who are you? Hello, convince Angelica the sky is falling. I will, and you're gonna believe him too. Oh look, she has really nice eyes, nice big eyes. Okay, go. Go convince her. Is she over here? She is. All right, I appreciate Sims. Ah, oh, she's attracted. Chris is a genius. Oh, is that why he didn't fall for it? Cause he's a genius. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Okay, you could go home. We got to convince Robin, I think, is is who could be our last person to convince that the sky is falling. But I don't know where she is. Where is she? Oh, she's right there. Okay, convince Robin that the sky is falling. Tell her it is. And and you're scared, but, but it'll be okay because it's not really falling. <laughs> it's just, you know, uh, a big meteor, maybe. <laughs> go shower. Dude, why is this so impossible? Go here, Robin. Okay, now convinced that the sky is falling. Oh no, the sky! Did you see that? <laughs> okay, cool. Everything worked out as planned. Let's go shower now. Okay, so what is our, our next goal? Uh, pushing the envelope. You've done it. The town is convinced the world really will end. It's looking a little too clean around here. You should convince everyone to litter everywhere. If no one cares, I'm sure the future will change for the worse. Successfully joke about trash talking the environment and let's see how much garbage will pile up. Trash talk the environment to six sims. All right. Oh, wow. Beam of light coming right through our house because of the time portal because <laughs> Emmett Relevar is returning to our home. Okay, well, let's see if I can talk to everybody about trash. Trash talk the environment. Don't take a shower. That's not important. Hey, I don't like the environment. I just want to throw garbage everywhere. Oh, she wants to throw garbage too. <laughs> they think it's hilarious. <laughs> All right, let's see if Evan, we could trash talk the, the environment with Evan. Definitely not Hadley because she is eco-friendly. So I don't think she would like that one bit. Evan, are you are you coming over here? No. Man, this house is too small. So where's uh, Emmett Relevart? I want to see if we could trash talk the environment. Robin, go over here. Get out of the way. Why are you in the way, Robin? Okay. Do you want to do you want to throw garbage everywhere? Actually, this is their house. I don't know why I want to throw garbage anywhere. <laughs> oh, look at his face. He's like, "What? What's going on?" Oh, uh, I want to too. Oh. <laughs> Facial expressions, those are so good. Oh, look at these piles of junk. Let's clean it up. Okay, so next video, I will have them all settled into their new home. I'll bring all of their objects and stuff, and uh, we shall have better beds, definitely, because these beds suck. And I will get them another time portal. I'll probably just leave this one here and I'll buy another one because they're only a thousand simoleons, I think in buy mode yeah <laughs> so yeah i will talk to you all later what does this say uh great work after you talk to the com community i've been hearing meteor talk on every street corner Ooh. okay so i will talk to you all later it is very early in the morning <laughs> bye everyone